Visually, there wasn't a whole lot to see as far as demolition work on actually tearing down the rest of this building. However, a lot is happening behind the scenes, such as what specialized equipment is needed? When can a structural engineer come here for an inspection? And how long might this all take? As I come down here and, you know, i like, you know, hello. It's safe to say Sherry Brunches likes chatting with people. I want to talk to everyone. Sherry. She owns Sport and Clips in Sugar House, so naturally she's used to talking to strangers. Like, stuff is happening here every day. But after being closed for a week because of the fire next door, somehow she's found even more people to talk to. I got to talk to some insurance adjusters who were out here with their iPads. I, I talked to the disaster cleanup people. Her main reason why is because she and about a half dozen other business owners want to know when they might be able to open again. I think that they are doing everything they can to expedite the situation. It, I think the hardest part of the whole thing is actually not, not knowing what is going to happen. Business owners met with firefighters last night to talk about the demolition work, but the fire department no longer has jurisdiction over this building. It's been turned back to the developer. It's still being determined which city agency will take oversight of the demolition work, a decision that could take a couple of days. They had to let us know that so we could understand that we needed to be more patient. So they've been really amazing at communicating with us. Part of that communication involved explaining how a structural engineer has to inspect what's left first, then get specialized equipment to tear down the steel reinforced part of the building. Yeah, you know, As for Brunges, she's confident that will all happen soon because, well, she likes a chat. One of the reasons why I feel confident in the urgency is because I have been here every day and I'm talking to the people who are working on this and they, they're very concerned. They wanted the people to be able to get back into their apartments. In the meantime, Brunges is still paying all of her employees, even setting them up at two of her other sport clip locations so that they can keep their clients. As for what city agency will take over oversight of the demolition work being done here, that is still being determined. In Sugar House, Alex Cabrero, KSL 5 News.